Let's look at acids and bases from the Bronsted-Lowry perspective and we're going to look at what are called the conjugate acid and base pairs. So when we're looking at Bronsted-Lowry acid-base reactions, we're looking at the acid and when it gives up a hydrogen ion, the atom or molecule that remains is called the conjugate base of that acid. So here we have two examples. We have sulfuric acid H2SO4 and when that donates or gives up a hydrogen you're left with HSO4 negative the ion form and that HSO4 negative ion is the conjugate base. When we have hydrochloric acid HCl and that H is donated or given up the Cl chloride ion that remains is the conjugate base of the acid hydrochloric acid. When we look at Bronsted-Lowry base, acid-base reactions, when a base takes up a hydrogen, the molecule that forms is the conjugate acid of that base. So when we look at NH3 as a base and we add a hydrogen ion, we get the polyatomic ion NH4+, which is ammonium, and ammonium is the conjugate acid of the base NH3 ammonia. When we have water acting as a base and we add a hydrogen ion, this gives us the H3O plus hydronium ion, and the hydronium ion is the conjugate acid for the base H2O. So here we have a conjugate pairs chart and I have either given you the acid or the base and you need to determine what's going to be the base or acid that's its conjugate pair and then write the equation of that dissociation of the acid or dissociation of the base that form the base. So our example is the H2SO4 sulfuric acid giving us a base of HSO4 negative and the equation is H 2SO4 yields HSO4 negative plus the hydrogen ion. So if you're doing this on the SOFIA tutorial, there is a PDF of this chart that you can print out and fill in, or you can do this on a separate sheet of paper if you wish. But take some time now and go ahead and complete this table, this chart, and then when you are finished, go ahead and check back and see how you did with your answers. So go ahead and turn off the video now. So let's see how you did. Notice in each case the acid when it gives up a hydrogen the base will have one less, acid, one less hydrogen than the original acid and notice that the charge increases by one as it loses that hydrogen. So in the case of H2PO4 negative, when that hydrogen is donated or given up, it becomes HPO4 negative 2. When we go down a little further towards the bottom of the chart and we get to HPO4 negative 2, notice when that hydrogen is released, we're left with the phosphate ion PO4 and it is negative 3. So go ahead and continue to check your work. Make sure you have the chart completed correctly. So how would these conjugate acid base reactions look in a actual balanced equation? So let's begin with nitrous acid, HNO2, and that will be our acid 1. And we're going to add that to water, and that will be our base 1. And when the nitrous acid gives up its hydrogen, it creates a conjugate base, which is NO2-1, or nitrite. And the H2O, the water, takes on that hydrogen and gives us the H3O plus hydronium ion, which becomes the conjugate acid for that base. If we take HPO4-2 as our base and we add the acid ammonium, 
when the ammonium gives up its hydrogen to the HPO4 negative 2, we end up with ammonia as the conjugate base of the acid ammonium, and we get the H2PO4 negative as the conjugate acid of the base HPO4 negative 2. So keep in mind that the conjugate acid is paired with the base, and the conjugate base is paired to the acid. So here we have five examples of chemical equations using conjugate acids and base pairings. And in each of these cases, we're going to ask you to label the acid as A1, the base as B1, the conjugate acid as CA2, and the conjugate base as CB2. Now, if you're doing this on the SOFIA tutorial, there's a PDF of this worksheet that you can fill in, or you can do this on a separate sheet of paper. And why don't you go ahead and turn off the video now and fill in that information, and then check back when you've completed your work. So go ahead and turn off the video now. So let's see how you did. So in each of these cases, make sure that you identify the acid as the substance that is giving up an a hydrogen ion, and the base as the substance that is going to receive the hydrogen ion, and the conjugate acid will be the base with the increased hydrogen value, and the conjugate base will be the ion or molecule left behind with one less hydrogen from the acid. So go ahead and check your work and make sure everything matches up. So I hope this was helpful in helping you to understand uh, conjugate acid base pairings, um, both in a standard equation and in a balanced chemical equation.